Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on connecting to Windows resources at CHPC with the remote desktop software. First, before we get started, you need to be on the campus network. If you are not on the campus network, if you are at home, for example, you'll need to use the campus VPN to first connect to the campus network before you can reach any of these servers. There's a training video on using the VPN and also some documentation that I'll include in the description. I'd like to mention the documentation on remote desktop, which you can find by going to chpc.utah.edu, clicking on documentation, software, and remote desktop RDP. This has instructions for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and is the basis for what I'll be covering in today's video. On Windows, you'll want to open the Remote Desktop Connection application and enter the hostname for the server you want to connect to. Here, you'll want to enter beehive.chpc.utah.edu to access the general environment Windows server instead of Kachina. Uh, Beehive has replaced Kachina. For your username, enter ad backslash your unit and then your campus password and click OK to connect. You might get this pop-up to ask you to verify the certificate. Just say yes, it's fine. And now your desktop should start. So from here, you can access software such as R or MATLAB or any other software that is available, and also you can view your files on your home directory or group spaces. When you're done, you can just log off as if it were your own computer. On macOS, you'll want to install the Microsoft Remote Desktop tool. There might be a different version depending on your own version of macOS or the version of Windows, and you'll click New. You can enter in your own name, it can be whatever you like, and then you'll want to connect to the hostname. So instead of Kachina, in this example, you would want to connect to Beehive, which has taken the place of Kachina. Your username is ad backslash your unit, and your password is your campus password. If you get a message about the certificate, choose continue, and your desktop should start. And from here, you can run any of the software you'd like to use, or see your files in your home or group directories. On Linux, you'll first want to install the R Desktop program. You can do this through apt or yum or generally most package installation tools. And then you'll run R Desktop U, your unit D A D, and then the hostname. Here you'd want to connect to beehive.chpc.utah.edu instead of Kachina because Beehive has replaced Kachina. This should open a window that asks for your password. And from here, you should be able to run your software, such as MATLAB or R, and view your files in your home directory or group directory or anywhere else. An alternative to R Desktop is FreeRDP. On Debian-based distributions, you can find the package as FreeRDP-X11 and then run it as XFreeRDP. So here I'm going to search for FreeRDP-X11 and then I already have it installed, but I'll just run through the installation here. And now if I do which X free RDP, I now have it. I can connect to beehive.chpc.utah.edu with slash D AD for the domain, slash U my unit, and slash V beehive.chpc.utah.edu. Now if I type my password, it should start right up. And from here, I can access my software or my files. And then I can just log out to close this. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email us at helpdesk at chpc.utah.edu 
or stop by our offices in INSCC 405. Thanks for watching.